Time now for Built for Success, presented by Ram Trucks. It's a top 10 showdown in the Big Ten at seventh ranked Penn State. Travels to Columbus to take on the third ranked Ohio State Buckeyes. Both teams, 6 0 overall, 3 0 in conference play. And the Nittany Lions haven't won in the horseshoe since 2011, Sam, and they come in as a four and a half point underdog on Saturday. We'll see how Penn State responds as it faces its biggest test of the season. CFP implications here, yes. Big Ten title implications, the whole shebang. So, coming into this game, who has more on the line? Is it Ohio State or is it Penn State? Man, give me Ohio State. Oh, okay. And many people would Eat say it. Penn State, but let me tell you why I say Ohio State. The reason why is that you talked about those college football playoff implications. Ohio State has lost to Michigan in back-to-back -back years in the big game. And so mm -hmm. if you think about it, you want to get back to that college football playoff and win in the college football playoff, you're not going to get there with two losses on your record, right? You need to get a win yeah. against Penn State, and then you have room. Not, not that you want room, but you have room, maybe leverage a little bit of leeway if you do, in fact, lose to, to Michigan. And so I think bigger than the story of, hey, James Franklin's got to get it done, I think it's more so, man, Ohio State's really trying to get to that big dance again, and this is the first obstacle from keeping them there. Oh yeah, so true, Sam. But truthfully, both of these teams have big things at stake to win this game. I think it's Penn State because when you look at the Big Ten, everyone talks about Michigan and Ohio State. Penn State is always held out of the discussion <laughs> looking from the outside in. So when are you going to do it? If not now, when? This is your time, Penn State, to finally win the big game. And when you look at the numbers for this team, they have a 92.6 defensive efficiency rating this year. Out of all the teams that have had one higher, five of them have gone on to the national championship, three of them winning it. So when I look at those numbers, your defense has already set you up for success. And I know it's their offense that is the question. So let's focus in on that Penn State defense because they're going to be going in against Kyle McCord. And we know that this is going to be his toughest test. So how is he going to be able to handle that Nittany line uh, defense? Well, so here's the thing. It will be Kyle McCord's toughest test or should be his toughest test. But here's the issue, because he played Notre Dame. McCord mm -hmm. played a really good defense. Penn State has the second easiest schedule amongst Power 5 teams. Yes. So all those defensive efficiency ratings, all that schedule and pass. It's like they haven't played a top 50 offense outside of West Virginia <laughs> yeah. in week one. Yeah. And so it will be a true test for Penn State, but also a test for Colin McCord. So what Colin McCord have to do is, I think, just be true to himself. Run the ball and get the ball to Marvin Harrison Jr. That's what you're going to have to do. Mm -hmm. And so, but the other side, Penn State, they got Kalen King at corner, one of the top corners in college football. Yep. He's, he should be able to at least slow him down, maybe not shut him down like Benjamin Morrison did from Notre Dame. And so, I'm excited to see this matchup because it's a first true test and challenge for this Penn State D. Yeah, a pretty easy common court. Get the ball over to Marvin Harrison <laughs> Jr., a generational talent. Now how about that Ohio State defense? Because a lot of question marks about this Ohio State defense early on in Ryan Day's career. Is this defense going to be able to step up? They get a new defensive coordinator. It seems like he's got things rolling. How is this defense going to be able to go against this Penn State offense who, honestly, we haven't seen them play to the potential we want to see them at? This defense needs to stop the run, and Penn State is a run-first operation. That's who they are. That's who they – may not be who they want to be, but that's who they've been, haven't been able to push the ball down the field. Yep. And so stop the run, but don't sacrifice the big play. Last year, we saw Ohio State sacrifice the big play mm -hmm. when they played Michigan. They were great all season long. Then they played Michigan <laughs> yeah. and started blitzing and playing so single high, or really no, no high safeties. <laughs> and then there were missed tackles. Then there were wide open receivers. And so Ohio State has to, yes, stop the run. And yes, dare Drew Aller at quarterback to beat you. But don't double dare, right? Like, just dare him, but don't double dare. Last year, they double dare. Double, I double dog dare. I will double dare him. Bro, they double dog dare J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy, boom. There were over four plays of 69 yards or more. And those are in the running game as well. But so, could dare him. I was like, just don't double dog dare him. Uh, all right, all right. Don't double dog dare him. And what Sam is referencing to is Penn State inability to push the ball downfield. Their explosive pass of play rate is one of the lowest in the entire country. Right now, Drew Aller, they're completing 10.81 yards 
per completion. That is low. It is 104th in the nation. And I don't know if you remember, some of y'all have seen James Franklin earlier on this season snap on a reporter because he asked him, yo, why don't you just, you know what I mean, yeah. YOLO, at least throw one up. Yes. <laughs> Let me see if you can get it down yes. the field. And he asked him, last, there was a reporter who asked him last week, reporter's been covering Penn State and said, man, we have, I, with my eyes, I'm not seeing this deep ball. Why not just tell them to let it rip? And now the issue is, no, you don't want to just say let it rip, but there have been circumstances and situations where a receiver has been open. Maybe mm -hmm. it's just one yard or two yard. Maybe Aller wants it to be five or seven yards wide open, and it's not going to be that against Ohio State. So if you see that one yard of separation or two yards, try to sling it. I think that's the better question or maybe the better. Yeah. That's where he was getting at as opposed to, hey, man, just let it rip. Because maybe you may not have to let it rip if you can run the ball so efficient. I, I will say, when they were going against UMass early on in that game, it hey. looked like they were trying to let it rip. And it wasn't ripping. And it wasn't ripping. It couldn't even tear, man. It was like, let it rip, man. I got can't. I'm trying. It wasn't ripping. All right. So, who, is, who needs this win more, Ryan Day or James Franklin? Man, give me Ryan Day again. I know we're talking about okay. James Franklin, and I, and I understand that. But remember Ryan Day just not long ago, you know, he said it's Ohio against everybody. It's us against the world. And, uh, and I'm like, maybe, but like if you lose this game, it's really going to be Ohio against everybody. Really, everybody against Ohio. Then you go and lose to Michigan. Like, I think that Ryan Day is trying to build a, a winner. And Ohio yeah. State has consistently won. But the last few years, you want to get over that hump. That big game, man. That big game. And so, <laughs> but before you get there, you got to tackle what's in front of you. And so, yes, you have a winner. But you want to actually have the doubters dissipate. Doubters have been coming up, man, because that Michigan game last year, let the doubters dissipate with a big win this weekend. This is, this is such a tough game to pick. It, 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 only thing that I can pick in this game is the under. That's what I'm going <laughs> to be picking for. It. But we have to pick a winner, Sam. So who are you taking? I'm taking Ohio State. I'm taking Ohio State because I don't think that Penn – I think Ohio State's defense will keep Penn State from doing what they do well. Okay, you say if – I'm, if I'm Ohio State, I'm saying I need to make Drew Aller beat me. Make him mm -hmm. beat me. Make him make those tight window throws that we haven't seen him make all season long outside of a few occasions. And if he does that, then all of a sudden now you say, okay, well, now we can retaliate with our offense. Yeah. And so that's why I'm picking Ohio State in this one. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not confident in Penn State's offense as I am confident in Ohio State's offense. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Unless Kyle McCord turns the ball over three times like Caleb Williams did and gives them short field, I think Ohio State is going to walk away with this win. Plenty of great Week 8 matchups. So let's do a conference call and check in with the rest of our reporters around the country.